geometric series. Each term in a geometric series is the previous term multiplied by a constant, and we have this wonderful formula. A sub n means if you want to find a specific term, n being the term number. A sub 1 is the first term in the series. R is the rate that it's increasing, the number you're multiplying to get to each term. And then the exponent is always one number less than the term you're trying to find. Number five, what is the next term after one half in this geometric sequence? Well, we don't have to use this fancy formula if you're just trying to find the next term. To get to two to one, what would you multiply by two to get to negative one? Well, you'd multiply it by negative one half. To get from one, from negative one to one half, you'd also multiply by negative one half. So to figure out the next term in the series, sequence, we're going to multiply the one-half by negative one-half. That's going to give us negative one-fourth. So to sum up, multiplying each term by negative one-half to get to the next term, so one-half times negative one-half is negative one-fourth. Number six, what's the eighth term in this, in this sequence? We don't want to write out all these terms, so let's use the formula a sub n equals a sub 1 times the rate to the exponent n minus 1. We're supposed to find the eighth term, so we're trying to find a sub 8. It's going to be equal to a sub 1. a sub 1 is the first term, which is a 4, times the rate. Well, 4 times 3 is 12. 12 times 3 is 36. So we're multiplying by 3 each time. So it's 4 times 3 to the n minus 1 n is 8, so n minus 1 is going to be 7. So it's 4 times 3 to the 7th. 3 to the 7th is 2187. Multiply that by 4, you get 8748, which is answer D. Number 7. On July 1st, 1990, the population of Gronsvat was 50,250. Starting population. The first number in our sequence is 50,250. If the population is increasing at an annual rate of 8.4%. So let's talk about that. To get from one number to the next, we're going to multiply by 108.4%. Because the population doesn't become 8.4% of the previous population. You've got the entire population plus 8.4% more. So this rate is 100% of the population plus an additional 8.4%, which as a decimal is 1 and 84 thousandths. What is the approximate population of Gordonafast on, on June 1st, 2010? So we're trying to find out what a to the 21st is. And let me explain why it's a to the 21st. If 1990 is a to the 1st, that means that 1991 is obviously a to the 2nd. And 1993 is a, pardon me, 1992 is a to the third. Notice that whatever number you're on, whatever ones digit you're on, the term you're on is one more. So it stands the reason if you keep doing this, which we're not going to, but if you keep doing it and get to 20, 10, Instead of being the 20th, it's going to be the 21st. If that doesn't make sense, just count out every number from 1990 to 2010, and you'll see that that's what happens. So our formula, once again, is a to the n. That's the nth term is a to the first times the rate to the exponent of n minus 1. We're trying to find the 21st term. Our first term is 50,250. 
our rate is 1.084. Our exponent is 1 less than the term, so it's 20 minus 1. It's 21 minus 1, which is 20. Put that bad boy in your calculator, you're going to get 252,186, which is answer J.